welcome back to Beginning My Career Adventures. Here I am in Wales, down in uh, the Brink of Beacons. As you can see, it's grey, as it always is in Wales. I had a lot of rain this weekend. It's been the perfect test for these high pro um, trousers from Hideout Leathers. Uh, as you've been following, I've had these uh, custom made by Hideout. Um, they're their premium textile trousers they offer. They're very comfortable. They've been holding out very well. They've kept me perfectly dry. Yeah. And they obviously fit very well, being custom made. Um, for me, being quite tall, getting trousers with a long enough leg has been a big problem. Um, sat on the bike quite often, the trousers just ruck up over the top of my boots, which is just a waste of time. Let's take a closer look at these Hideout High Pro trousers. Um, okay, as you can see, they've been very well put together. There's high quality stitching throughout. Nice and strong, all double stitched. Uh, construction wise, we have this the outer fabric layer is laminated and bonded to a scholar sea change fabric, waterproof fabric, a bit like Gore Tex. Um, it keeps the water out, it's breathable, and it lets um, heat exchange in and out so you don't get too hot or cold in the winter. Um, being laminated, water just runs off the top and the inside just stays nice and dry. Beneath that, if look inside, we have, I don't know this out, this full Kevlar lining beneath this liner. Um, that gives full brace of protection throughout. Your armour from the hips, D30 armour. And again in the knees, that just slips into a little pocket underneath and then it has Velcro on the top just to, uh, to keep fine tune the positioning of those. Um, then yeah, we have this nice comfort lining on here, and then there's a thermal, thermal light uh, zip-in liner just for the winter, which is nice and thick and padded. Um, I haven't used that at all yet, just because they're just nowhere near cold enough. Um, we've got order system zips here. That's been fine. That's been Keeping my phone nice and dry in the wet. Ditto on the fly, which as you can see, got this all here, just keeps the water out. Um, you turn them over. You've got a leather patch on the arse, it just gives a bit more grip, stops you slipping around on the seat in the wet. Uh, that's the only thing it really gets sodden in the in the um, wet weather, but it's no big deal. And then on the base of the legs, we've got like a, a zipper flared thing going on, so you can get them all over your boots easily and then zip them down. Um, when you get yourself measured up for these, they will check the circumference of your boots and make sure um, the uh, fitting it works fine for your boots. Uh, but you can always fine tune it here with this little Velcro patch. Um, there we go. At the top here, we have a zip. For attaching to your jacket so when you get these made they will offer you a choice of zips depending on what jacket you wish to use so this is just a standard hideout zip for their jacket but if you want they can fit a rucker or a harvison zip or something else like that for whatever branded jacket you've got that's no problem and then also here we've got the big heavy duty um, hoops here for hanging your trousers up because they are pretty heavyweight trousers, surprisingly heavy, much more so than my uh, prior rucker trousers. Um, but obviously they're a lot longer than my rucker ones as well. Um, of course, made in Britain at their local workshop up in Essex, um, tailor made it to your size. Uh, obviously a premium product, they're not cheap, coming in at about 700 quid. Um, but compare that to the top end laminate models from Rocker and Klim and they're not too dissimilar prices. The tailor made process took around about 12 weeks ish, it's quite involved. Uh, there was a, a trial fitting halfway through that as well, just to make sure everything is all on track. Comfort wise, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Uh, we've got, these ones just have a single pocket, which is waterproof. So, that's for any issues? Um, not much really. Um, one interesting thing is this pocket here. It's got this double seam going across the pocket. So the pocket actually comes all the way down to here. But when you shove your phone in, 
it quite often gets stuck on there and then you kind of kind of force it down. It's a bit more hassle when you're wearing them and things are a bit tighter. But that's pretty nitpicky. Um, you know, I think obviously they've got a load of length for my quite long legs. Um, so they don't rock up when I'm on the bike. It does mean if I'm wearing them uh, with no boots on, I'm just walking around, I'm scraping them on the floor a bit, but like I'm gonna be walking around with no boots on in these much. Um, yeah, other than that, no, no problems whatsoever. All good. Yep. So there you go. The hideout levers, high pro trousers. Hey, they don't just do levers. They've got some pretty premium uh, textiles here. Yeah.